Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, we're getting tight. It's just been one of those mornings. But they just don't tickle my pickle, so. Okay, I did it. <laughs> I probably could have at least washed my face before I started this video, but I just like to crack on. I just like to crack on in the morning and at least get like an hour or two of work under my belt before I'm like, right, okay, now it's time to wash. <laughs> but I'm just going through the comments on last week's vlog and they are so lovely, thank you. So many recommendations for what to do with the shallots, like absolutely loads of recommendations. And I think there's two that I could probably do today, like really easily. Number one, to pickle some, like pickled shallots sounds delicious. Number two was quite a highly rated comment as well and that was to throw them in the food processor. Genius because it saves me chopping a million shallots and then freezing them in batches and actually I've got like little ice cube trays from Weaning Ralph I can just like fill up with some shallots and then I can just pop out a cube whenever I want some shallots and something. Genius. Thank you so much for that. Also lots of feedback about the capsule wardrobe stuff and you lot saying that you'd like to see some on here. So I'm definitely going to try and work out a way to weave that in to this like weekly vlog format. Maybe do some more standalone videos. I'm not sure. My worry is that I'm repeating myself but quite a few of you have said like I'm not on TikTok. I really love when you do the seasonal like switch arounds. So maybe it's more around that time of year that I do a few things on YouTube as well. But yeah, thank you so much for all of your comments. It's lovely hearing your feedback. And I'm so glad you like these, the weekly vlogs as well. Someone said they would watch one that's over 30 minutes. So let's see what I can do this week. <laughs> I'm gonna crack on with this and then I will definitely have a shower at some point. Getting in my workout before I have a chance to talk myself out of it. <laughs> okay, I did it. <laughs> I did it, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. I did it, and Cody played Say It Right by Nelly Furtado, which he called a masterpiece, and I have to agree, it's just a bloody great song. I can't believe I'm putting on makeup at um, almost two o'clock <laughs> in the afternoon, but I had some lunch with the boys that was really nice. Um, Mark managed to make the fridge grain salad recipe. I feel like I'm always talking about that. But we managed to tag team and he made us that and it was really, really, really tasty. Then I've just shot an Instagram campaign of a very cool, department store and now I'm putting on makeup because I want to shoot some reels finally. I want to shoot some reels. <laughs> but there are some beauty things to update you on. Um, this foundation is really nice. It's from Hourglass. It's their Ambient Soft Glow Foundation. Looks a little something like this. I think I'm using it in the shade 4. Yeah, 4. I'd say it's quite a medium to full coverage. It feels like it's more coverage than what I normally wear. But if I'm having a day like this, where I just need to get makeup on my face really quickly and for it to look good on camera, this looks really good. I think I can get away with no concealer as well. Like that, <laughs> that's the level of coverage this has. I tried Jamie's new eye pencil. This is the eye wand in coffee. It looks like something like this. I tried it all over my lids the other day and I really liked the colour all over my lids, but on me, it really creases. But that can be solved by just doing like a lash line situation. So I just literally just put a tiny amount on my lash line, blend it in with my finger, with my brush, a bit of the Beauty Pie mascara. Um, I actually just saw a comment that someone posted literally this morning that said, I signed up to Beauty Pie. <laughs> just for this mascara, because all mascaras like flake and smudge on me and make a big mess. And their comment was like, oh my God, this mascara is amazing. It really is the perfect waterproof mascara. So throwing that on. And then I think on my lips, I'm gonna do a bit of lip liner. This is the Makeup Forever. I think it's in 602, completely sepia. A little bit of lip balm over the top. Okay, what's the time? It took me seven minutes. <laughs> I thought it was pretty quick. There you go. That is the finished look. How many products do I use there? The foundation, Beauty Pie Bronzer, Jamie's Eye Wand, Brow Gel, Mascara, Lip Liner, Lip Balm. Okay, seven products, if I've counted correctly. I think I'm just going to try and shoot the reels. If I could maybe edit and get up one, that would be great. Because it is a Monday. I don't know. I, li I like to get in the flow. I really want to be in a place where I'm posting Monday to Friday on like Instagram and TikTok every day. So that is the aim. Um, and then I'm going to pack up and I'm going to take Ralph around my grandparents, aka Ralph's great grandparents um, this afternoon. So nice little afternoon planned. Hooray, I filmed some reels. Finally, yes. Now I'm gonna tidy up all of the piles of clothing that I inevitably end up with all around the room. So I'm gonna tidy everything up, get the footage on my laptop and see if I can edit and like do all the links and all the bits and bobs and get one up 
within the next hour, because I think that is when Ralph is going to wake up. Let me double check the time. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, ooh, we're getting tight. In answer to my previous question, yes, you can get up a reel really quickly when you want to. And I'm really happy with it as well. So it felt good to get that up. One thing arrived today that was supposed to, my Freddy's flowers box, and now it's like peace has resumed in the house. I'm gonna take a moment, maybe I'll put my AirPods in and arrange my flowers and enjoy it. Um, but one thing didn't arrive today that I was expecting, and that's my Gusto box. I'm so stupid. I haven't signed up to be a subscriber. I just order boxes as and when I need them, because sometimes it just makes sense for us to get them on a Sunday night. Other times it's like the Monday, or we're going away with like family, and actually we need a bigger box delivered to like a completely different address. I don't know. I just I ha I'm not ready to commit 100%. But when I came downstairs, I said to Mark, I was like, I've, I've forgotten to do a Gusto for this week. We were both so <laughs> disappointed. And we were in the car on the way back to my grandparents talking about what Ralph was going to eat for dinner. And then Mark was like, what the hell are we going to eat for dinner? And do you know what? I'm really not sure. I think it's going to have to be a beans on toast night. But how disappointing when you think it's going to be a really nice gusto night. I would get McDonald's. But when I had my neurovirus food poisoning thing a couple of months ago, it was on a burger. And I haven't been able to eat burgers or like ground meat since. And I just don't think I can do it. I know there are other options at McDonald's, but they just don't tickle my pickle. So I think it's a bees on toast kind of night, guys. <laughs> they never look super impressive at the beginning, but you just wait. These BTs are gonna look amazing by the end of the week. Heat waves are obviously not the one climate-wise. They're also really not the one when you have a young child. And parks are life, like keeping Ralph indoors. He's a little adventurer man, you know? So I'm very much here for the cooler weather. It has an autumn vibe today. And as an autumn baby, autumn, it, autumn is for me. So I'm very, very excited by this, although it does mean that everything is gonna be like very gray and dreary today. I thought I would quickly show you my like full morning skincare routine. I'm currently using the Beauty Pie Super Healthy Skin Hot Oil Double Cleansing Balm. I just cleanse with that. And then I've actually got a few eye creams that I'm testing out. Um, this one I've just done a job with the Drunk Elephant Ceramite AF Eye Balm. I love when you get a lab sample, it makes me feel super fancy. So I've been giving that a go. And then also there's another one I'm testing out for a possible future job. So I'm kind of switching between all of those. Then I've been taking one pipette of the Youth Bomb by Beauty Pie. This is their 360 facelift serum. Uh, yes, please. Taking one pipette of that and then just putting that all over. Then one pipette of the Beauty Pie Super Drops. These are the brightening and oxygenating. They're their like niacinamide drops. So these are replacing the Allies of Skin one that I was using before. Just Again, pressing that all over. And then for a little bit of moisture, I'm doing the Beauty Pie Japan Fusion Step M3 Power Elixir Moisturizer. This is like a nice kind of thick, rich gel, but I think I prefer Happy Face. And then this SPF is just the best SPF, especially if you love like dewy, glowy, juicy skin, the Ultraviolet SPF 50 Supreme Screen Hydrating Facial Sunscreen. I'm pretty sure I saw Estee do a job that said that you can get buy one, get one free if you buy it directly off of their website of any of the sun creams. And I'm not sure if that offer will still be valid when this video goes live, but if it is, I was like, what? <laughs> I want it on free. That's amazing. But I really go to town on that. Even though it's grey and rainy outside, it actually just leaves such a nice base for makeup. We're having a hair up moment today even though my hair is still relatively clean in the grand scheme of like the weekly cycle um whenever i wear this dress this is the um the base range shawl caftan dress i think it's called i'll see if i can get a little clip for you later on it's just so black and long and oversized i feel the need to get my black long hair out of the way whereas it's just like a little bit too much um, but I thought I would share with you my jewellery I'm working with Majuri on this video and actually I have a meeting a meeting oh an appointment I guess tomorrow with one of their virtual stylists um, which I'm so excited about anyone can book one of these appointments they're free they're like 15 minute slots and they're so good if like there's something in particular you want to look at maybe you want to look at like the pairing of two different items like how two or three different necklaces layer or bracelets or stacking rings just like general advice around sizing around the range um around like 
pairing and styling, their virtual stylists. Um, so I'm really excited. I really want to ask them about like something a little bit special. Ralph is almost one and I kind of want to get something to commemorate that moment. Um, so I really want to have a look at like some of the pendants that they've got. And I know they have um, birthstone charms, which I think are really nice. Um, so I thought it'd be good to see how those like look on some chains that I've got, on some bracelets that I've got. So I've got that tomorrow lunchtime, um, but I will just share with you the bits that I wear every day, the things I mention in every single video, um, the Majuri small hoops. Can I zoom in? That's better. The Majuri small hoops are basically my go-to. I have got the in-between hoops as well, but I think I prefer the small hoops. I just always go back to them. This is the round curb chain. Um, I like the small hoops with the curb chain or the small bold hoops with one of the like slimmer chains This is like one of my go-to combos. I've got the two bracelets that I wear every day I don't take off. I feel like I never really show you the rings. Um, this black diamond one They actually don't do anymore, but they've got like a similar one So I'll link some dupes and the same with this like little beaded one. This little twist one is Majuri as well And again, there's a dupe for it and also this one in the middle this smooth band This is one of my more recent purchases really really comfortable and I've got the anchor as well there's, there's always a lot of majority on me and I can hear my baby at the door so I'm going to sign off oh I've got a nine o'clock meeting in eight minutes um so I'm gonna go have a cuddle and then go to my meeting and I'll see you in a bit it's always so hard to show black things especially in an oversized black dress <laughs> on camera uh but here you go this is what I'm wearing today it feels very non-august I feel like I'm bringing serious autumnal vibes with this um but it has been Oh my word, it's been pouring down. It's just been one of those mornings. <laughs> because I forgot the gusto, Mark went out and got the ingredients for this absolutely gigantic veggie chili. And I've just made it whilst Ralph's been down for a nap. Um, so there you go, dinner is sorted. I'll link the recipe in the description box. I think we've made it before. It's absolutely <laughs> gigantic. Uh, it's definitely gonna feed us for the rest of the week, that's for sure. down as a lip liner kind of person. Alas, here we are. Let, let me count <laughs> how many are in my uh, makeup bag currently. Five. Five lip liners. Who am I? I'll talk you through them. We've got Vive Peach, Lisa Eldridge Intrigue, a little bit peachier I'd say. Makeup Forever Artist Colour Pencil in the shade 602 Sepia. So I think one of you DM'd me and said I should try 600 which is apparently Hayley Bieber's favourite lip liner, um, but I stumbled across 602 and I was like, oh, it feels like it's a bit less brown and a bit more the vibe. I'd say actually this one is the closest dupe I've found to this one, which is actually my favourite, the one that kind of started it all. It's from KKW Beauty. So Kim Kardashian's now defunct makeup line. I picked this up in Ulta years ago when I was in Maybe Chicago? Oh, I went to an altar all by myself. It was heaven. <laughs> and that's this one here. It's a little bit more gray than everything I've got here, but it's just such a good lip plumpy kind of shade. And then I've also got the Lisa Eldridge one in Muse, which is maybe a little bit too rosy. It's like a little bit too dark and pink. Um, I do like this makeup for everyone. I am so not skilled when it comes to my lip liner. I literally just go roughly around my lip line, kind of blend it in a little bit and just, just smush it in. But yeah, I thought I would show you a bit of a comparison of all of those. So I know that's probably not particularly helpful. But if like me, you're a big fan of this Kim Kardashian West one, I'd say the Makeup Forever in 602. It's called Completely Sepia. That is the shade you're looking for. It's really, really, really hard to find. I think I got it from Feel Unique or Look Fantastic, one of those, and I've looked again and it's out of stock, but there are definitely places you can find it. But I really like it. I think it really plumps the old lips. So I'm having a little bit of laptop time and I'm getting ready for my Majuri virtual styling appointment, which I'm really looking forward to. I think I might go get all of my Majuri bits so I can talk to the stylist about what I already have at home. And then she knows exactly what we're working with and she can see if that charm works on any of the things that I already have. But I just think it's such a good idea. If like me, you don't live particularly close to a store, like London is a miles away, but it's kind of a two hour door to door trip. Um, it's really good. So wherever you are, you can kind of have that in-store experience with an expert. I think it's like a Zoom call, a Zoom link they're gonna send me. So I'm just sat, I'm ready and waiting to be virtually styled. <laughs> That 
was so helpful. My virtual stylist was Sydney and she had all of the good advice and all the good tips. She basically showed me how the Peridot charm would look on all of the chains that I already had. And it even fits on this one actually, on the curved chain that I've got. Um, and so she put the charm on the chain and like showed me close up what it was gonna look like. Um, so it's really good to like visualize it and see that it was gonna work with everything that I already have. So I'm really, really happy with that. Peridot charm is happening. I'm making an order. Also such a good gift. I feel like if you've got anyone in your life, a nice little birthstone charm is kind of perfect because then they can just put it on whatever they have already. Um, so yeah, gift from me to me. Also a very good tip around bracelets. I asked Sydney, I was like, you do this for a job, like how do you put on bracelets yourself? Because um, it's really hard sometimes. And she said to put a little bit of tape on one side of the bracelet and it stops it moving around absolutely genius and she also gave me a tip around layering necklaces and said you basically want to look for different chain styles like if I put two of the daintier styles these are both Majuri here but if I was to wear these two together they might end up a little bit tangled um so she likes to pair two completely different chain styles together so she was wearing this which is the curved chain necklace um she was wearing it with their new one I made a note the serpentine necklace. Definitely gonna have a look at that online. She had the chain necklace on the shorter setting and then the serpentine necklace underneath and that had a real snaky kind of feel. So she was like, they never tangle together. Um, so I'm definitely gonna check that out as well. But yeah, highly recommend if there are some Majuri things on your radar, but you just wanna see them on, have any questions, it's a great, great service. Plus, if you use my link, you get 10% off of your first order. I'll pop the link in the description box down below for you. Some bow work samples just arrived. Oh, 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 and I'm gonna like <laughs> hold them up against what we've got already, okay? We've got. Does it show in this light? Probably not. Light? They all look the same. They all look the same. I mean, oh, they're yeah. all quite similar. There's maybe, a, maybe they're a little bit. Okay. Oh, which one did you pick up? I can't remember which one I like now. This is bow work balance. Bow work quiet. They're all bow works, I don't know why I'm saying that. This is Mykonos. And this one is calm. Um, and then do you want to show them the samples that we've got? Yeah, so we picked up, we went to a stonemason the other day and picked up a piece of, a couple of pieces of like work top. So this was, oh, what was it? Is it quartz? Yeah, type of quartz, but it was a particular company, like a massive company anyway. And it's called Fresh Concrete, mm. but we really like this. We think, we're, we think we like this for our work top. Yeah, we? I want something for the work top that is like non-faffy. Oh no, this I think you still do have to put trivets and stuff down. Yeah, but I think most of you do. I think he said trivets you still have to like put on this. It's not particularly great with heat, but it is fine with like stains and stuff. He was like that. Yeah, yeah, like he was stain. like, just don't put down like a literally yeah. straight off the straight yeah. off the hard He's like, it would probably be fine, but you wouldn't want to risk it for a biscuit. No. So this felt like a good option in that it wasn't super, super expensive because a lot of those ones that oh, are, yeah. you know, heat safe are really expensive. So this one was a good kind of moderate price yeah, point moderate. and kind of did everything we wanted to do and, and was quite pale as well. We want something that's not super dark in terms mm. of the stone. So I think this for the work tops and then like a wood front um, kitchen cabinets. We're still trying to work out <laughs> where are we getting these kitchen cabinets from? We're not 100% sure. We're gonna check out um, maybe Pluck and... Holt. Holt as well. If anyone has any experience with those kitchen companies, do let me know, I'm very interested. So imagine this kind of cabinetry. We actually went to, what was it, like a wood yard? It's good, like English Woodlands Timber, I think. Yeah, that was it. It was miles away. We like, drove for an hour and went to this place that was just full of wood. I did take a photo there. I will insert it here. Of my face. <laughs> it was just loads of wood. But it was really good to see all the different types of wood, all the different species of wood, mm -hmm. and to get an idea of colour. That's yeah. what we were going for. Like, what kind of hue of wood are we looking for? We're yeah. thinking this. Which is a... I think it was an English oak. I think it was an English oak. So this, with work surface. Sorry. And then, obviously with the bow work colour. So what one did you like? I think I didn't like, I can't remember which one I didn't like now. I yeah. liked these. Yeah, it was Mickey Mouse that I wasn't that keen on. And I thought it was a bit too close to the... A bit too yellow. A bit too close to the work surface. Yeah, I agree. So I, I think, quite like 
Mm. I quite like the darker one. It's got something about it. Oh, okay. You know, like, and this quiet has got sage tones in it, which I, I read oh. and I was like, oh, yeah, see? These two, I think, balance and quiet Should for I put me. them both up? Yeah. At least this guy's nice. Don't mind this guy's, you know, don't worry. I know that getting samples like this, they're yeah. so tiny, it's like not particularly helpful, but power work samples were so expensive to get in like a little box. So we're like, let's yeah. get four of these little one euro, whatever they are, cards, yeah. and then we'll see what we like. Maybe there's like one or two. Yeah. I agree with you. I think I like those two. Yeah. The, so what's, what ones are that? Quiet and balanced. Yeah, I think it was that. And then I think, and then I like... Hint of sage. And I liked that one as well. Calm. Maybe a bit, it's a bit too magnolia though. Right? I think it's too magnolia -y. Yeah. Okay. So maybe we'll get some samples of these and then just stick them up on the wall. Yeah, maybe, yeah. And if anyone else has any recommendations on like breathable alternatives, like breathable paint alternatives to Bauwerk, because Bauwerk's a lime wash, I think, which is breathable. And we're going to be having lime render, uh, lime plaster on our walls. So mm -hmm. we want to keep the whole like breathable wall going, you know? Mm -hmm. cool. Stay tuned for. Stay tuned for more. Stay tuned for more. For last night's chili, we had it with rice and some sour cream, and tonight we're going. Sour cream and tortillas. <laughs> Burrito style, also. I love behind you, there's just. I really are. <laughs> just hang in there, just defrosting. Defrosting for later. I can't, I can't later. wait for that to defrost. <laughs> I've just sat here and straightened my hair, and I have. No real idea why I've done that because I'm about to go swimming. And um, we're gonna take Ralph swimming. Ha there is method in my madness. Basically, we're going swimming, coming back. I'm gonna make sure that everyone has dinner, is sorted, is fed, and then I'm going out for dinner myself with some of my girlfriends, which I'm really excited for. I'm not gonna have a lot of time to kind of sort myself out in that period. So I'm doing a quick moment of glam now. Do you know what? This is really nice. This is ultraviolet again. Um, their SPF 50 Dream Screen Tinted Veil. This is in the shade V2. Um, personally, I wouldn't use this for SPF protection. I just always find like tinted products I don't use enough. Um, but it's really nice as a base. I've been switching between this one for like very sheer kind of every day just need a little something on my face um then obviously the hourglass the ambient soft glow foundation is like whoa heavy coverage very good for filming and then i feel like the nars um this is the light reflecting foundation is kind of somewhere in the middle but those are the three that are in my um in my makeup bag right now side note does anyone watch bachelor fan takes videos um i think he's canadian and he recaps all of the bachelor and bachelor episodes um, online. I, I don't watch The Bachelor or The Bachelorette, but I do watch these videos. Does anyone else do that? Does anyone else watch these videos? He's so clever. He basically finds all the clips in like the teasers and the trailers and he kind of, he goes like back in time and he like sleuths things out about the season and I don't know, I just find that very fascinating. Yeah, I just need to get some new roll. <laughs> I got sent the Rose Ink, the cream bronzer in the shade Kawaii um, earlier. So let's give this go. This looks like a nice, like, honey toned bronzer. I think it might be the lightest one. Oh, oh, does that smell like? It's giving me nostalgia. I'm using the Beauty Pie and um, Seamless Foundation Buff and Brush. Oh, this was not the one I was supposed to use. <laughs> I was going to use this one. The Pro Color Angled Cheek. Actually, that's worked. Hmm. That's worked really nicely. I forget when you use a brush like this and it's a bit more, it's smaller than what I would normally use for bronzer, you can actually get a really nice, specific application. I really like the lid for this. Like a little rainbow shape. Oh, I find that very satisfying. Did I mention that we're going to Patty and Bun? I can't remember. I can't remember if I also mentioned in this vlog my aversion to ground meat and Patty and Bum is a burger restaurant. I did check the menu. There are vegan options, there are vegetarian options, but sadly it's a mushroom burger and I'm just not a mushroom lover. I'm really not, so I'm not going to have that. But there was a chicken burger, so I was like, fine. Chicken burger it is for me. <laughs> also, I love how every time I'm like, quick glam, as though I ever, ever, ever take more than 10 minutes to do my makeup. <laughs> my outfit today is inspired by TikTok because I posted a TikTok where I was wearing this head to toe brown outfit from Jeff Avenue. It's their on-the-go set in Mocha. And someone was just like, I love outfit three on you. It looks fab. And I was like, oh, 
thank you. I, I like outfit three on me too, so I'm gonna wear it today. Um, so I've just got the trousers on and then the shirt and then obviously we're going swimming, so I'll just pop on. I've got the Hansa G swimming costume, I'll just pop that on underneath, whip off my trousers and I'm going to go swimming. Um, so yeah, I do, I like this little number. Sandwich, did oh. you enjoy your Avlova? Um, <laughs> a roulade? A roul Is it a roulade? You called it a roulade in the other clip. Yeah, it's a roulade, isn't it's it? It's a roulade. Yeah, because yeah. it's a roll. Pavlova's yeah. the different, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I just ate a little crumb of it off your side. Oh, so good. They're so good. <laughs> That's really good. I'm glad we had a bit of cream as well. Like oh, did you have it some like oh, a bit of cream? Yeah. Delicious. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, so much for renovation stuff to come. It's like nine o'clock at night and Mark is talking to me about lights. No, glazing. <laughs> I was listening, I promise. Sure, yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to run out of battery, so I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.